hi everyone and welcome back so this is the third video and in this video we are going to do the migration exercise uh, what i mean to say that we have this kind of erd which shows the relationship between different tables we are going to put that in the migration files which we have okay so we can you can see there is a user entity which has id as a foreign key in the merchant and which has a foreign key country code from the country's table Similarly, the products product has the merchant ID, which is a foreign key from the merchant entity. These are the two relationships it has. And then the product ID is a foreign key in the order items and the order ID. So let's try to let's try to put this in our uh, migration files and let's try to draw all these entities. So let's say first table is users. I have already cleaned my database. What I mean to say is your next migration table should be empty before you want to run the migrations from the beginning from the scratch so everything is a clean my first table is a users which has full name created at and country code before that we can also create a countries so npm run what do we have npm run make countries countries is an entity and I will copy and paste this and I will add this inside the countries. So what all columns countries is name and code and name let's say and both have string. So here I do have a code which is a string you can add indexing code and name. This is the table is countries which is going to be used at many places okay auto incremented id code is indexed and both are not nullable code and name okay that is a foreign key in the users so users contains the full name email or whatever the basic things uh, username address and all here we need to add this as a foreign key so how can we add that we can just follow okay inside a table we have to add table dot uh, string okay table dot id because we are going to add the country code country id as a foreign key here table dot integer and this is going to be country id we have to see this what it is then we can add indexing here dot reference reference with id in table reference id in table countries this is how you can add the country id in the users table so here we have country code i mean it can be anything country code id let's say i want to have a country code as a column which is of type integer index reference id from the table countries so we are done with these two initial tables now we can have the products product has a relationship with the merchant id merchant id is a relationship with from merchant table that is a foreign key so we can create a product and then we will add a foreign keys and all products products will have a name price status and all so here is our products and here i will change the table name products auto incremented primary key and I do have a name price status status is string let's say and all the others are like created at this just a life cycle columns and now here do we have some foreign key foreign key is there as a merchant ID is a foreign key okay so we are good here this status can be an enum in the postgres 
so this is the product table now product table is a foreign key product table is a foreign key in the order item so we can create an order and the order items let's say order and order items this has one loose foreign key with the user id you can see the orders orders is like have a user id user if this is the primary foreign key then it can be associated with this user table so we'll create orders so orders is a new entity then we will create order item and define the association with the product so orders will have user id status and all so here we can create another is orders id status and we are going to have user id here which is a foreign key coming from the user table okay this is the order table and then we have order item so we have order items which has a relationship with the order product table so if you look at the order item it has a two foreign key order id and the product id order id is coming from the order table product id is coming from the products table so it's like a many to many relationship with the product and order so because there are mul multiple orders and the order item has a foreign key for from product table and the orders table so order id product id and a quantity so this is here we can have order id and the product id as a two foreign key order underscore id and then there is a product underscore id this is going to be relationship with the products this is going to be the relationship with the orders so this is product underscore items table okay this is clear now we have the products so now i think the merchant table is layer left we don't need to worry about this thing merchant has the two foreign keys like admin ids and the country id country id uh, it can be a country code as a foreign key in the merchant table and then admin id from the user table okay merchants let's create it so merchant says the foreign key country code and the admin id has a foreign key from users table so i will go to merchants and according to the definition we have a country code merchant name so this is the table name now it has id integer integer we need one string which is merchant name merchant name and then country code and the admin id so we can have country code coming from the country table and admin id is coming from user table okay this is now our merchant table so now we have covered almost all the tables users products and then this merchant id is a foreign key in the product okay so we'll go to products and the foreign key is merchant id so merchant id is a foreign key coming from the merchant table correct so this is our table structure now what we can do is if everything is good we can run npm run migration 
so first table is users now you also need to understand the order like countries should be the first table because the country id is a foreign key in the users so we did small mistake we should have created first the countries table now we can just reorder the timestamp because based on the timestamp ordering it executes uh, these migrations so we have countries we have the users so first is countries then users we are creating then the products products has the countries and merchants so this will also break so always remember this i actually created these tables randomly but uh, they should be created with more focus countries table is already there but merchant table is not there so you cannot associate with the merchant foreign key for now i will just comment this out to prevent the errors then we have orders table orders table dependent on the user id we already have this table then order items depends on the products and orders table we already have it merchant table depends on the country code and the users table we already have it so you just need to provide a proper table names so that our relationships can be established okay now we can run the migration from the package.json npm run relation orders does not exist it is talking about order item so let's say the orders it's s okay these are the small mistakes which you should not we should which you should take care while naming the the tables products okay it should be used as a products this is orders table the users table so same table names needs to be used as orders products okay merchant it should be countries users and then i will run it again these are the some common mistakes like i wanted to show you because so you can avoid doing those uh, errors and then now i can reload my tables and you can see these are the the five migrations six migrations we have these are executed in this order so now in future if you do any changes in these files and you do npm run migrate that will not execute if you wanted to alter any column add new column change the type of the column you have to create a new migration using npm run create and then you should do npm run migrate okay so always take care of the table names which you are adding in the reference the type currently all the the primary keys are auto incremented types but you can also put uuid table dot uuid something like this okay so this is just a, just a simple migration example the the tables now has a primary key foreign key relationships if i can show you the product items structure and uh, it has an order id and the the product id you can see the foreign keys similarly in the orders we do have a user id as a foreign key in the products we have a country code as a foreign key inside users we have a country code as a foreign key okay so this is what it is and we also added some index like the email has a unique uh, email is indexed some columns we columns we have indexed which are having the primary key or foreign key defined okay so this is all about migrations which we can talk you can create all these migrations by defining your entity relationship diagram which may be for mysql postgres or any other rdbms database uh, thanks everyone